And what I'm doing is I'm using the Digitech Trio Plus to work on starting a new series of songs that are going to be mostly mellow and uh, mostly melodic and just chord based and um, not a lot of bass and drums. So what I do is play a pattern and the Trio Plus actually adds bass and drums. And then I dial in a little adjustment here and there as I need it to uh, to program it. After that you can adjust and then program it to keep what you say is good enough in this situation. So you stop it and start it. You've got the band. You got a band button, a looper button, and your adjustments. Um, and these are not going to be like perfect songs, uh, so to say, um, in the way that I would write them if I was using the garage band and using everything else in there. This is going to be a little more basic. <laughs> and um, instead of doing multiple tracks on the recording, I'm doing multiple tracks on this Trio Plus and then using them to do just one or two in GarageBand, play some leads and adjust my tones and my sound. So this is my pedal board right here and I'm turning this off. Because my actual backing track doesn't need to be that strong. We got all these options for pedals. All kinds of crazy stuff, it's really cool. I'm, I'm fixing a couple of uh, errors in uh, previous takes, so to say, on the trio. So, I just did the introduction, I just did the rhythm portion. I'm gonna check the rhythm portion right now because I kind of overdid one portion, let's see. Okay, so it, it came out okay. I was afraid that the first couple of bars were going to be doubled, and I wasn't trying to do that. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the third part, which is more opened up and um, bigger. I'm going to double check it right now. I think it's actually probably already ready. That's mellow for me, right? I'm gonna play some leads over it and everything, and then I'm gonna do another add-on at the end of this with a more polished kind of what sounds what I really use. Ultimately, using this is, is like having a band that you can jam with and practice and come up with some stuff, um, but you're just doing it on your own and um, saving time and money, hopefully. And so the third part is done. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm going to improv some leads over this. I'm going to put it in the in the go mode of um, what I've recorded and what I've set it up to do. It's kind of the idea of the song layout at this point. We'll see.
that was the program part that, all the way through. And um, one part went twice. I thought it was going to go once. It's no big deal. This, but this is how I develop some songs. This is how what I do. Okay, so for the lead sound, I'm going to use one of the um, Garage Band amps here. You can actually move this microphone around where it's sitting on the speaker. Okay, so now I've got two tracks flashing. They're going to both record the inputs from the Digitech Trio Plus. They're going to record the guitar track and the drums and bass that it already input. So, here we go. a bit of echo and stuff coming through on the drum side. So I'm going to bring that down. So there's that part. Okay, so I've had uh, last night to listen to this a little bit and um, so I'm just going to improv some lead now over it. And again, this is not, this is not an aim to be perfect. Um, this is more to have fun. And, this is primarily about one aspect of writing a song using the equipment that I've explained in the video.
Thanks for watching.